Culture to lifestyle, it's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. I hope that you remember to put on that workout gear and get your sneakers ready or maybe even possibly you can do it barefoot because it is Wednesday. That means our fitness guru, James Patrick, is back in the building to let us know some high intensity workouts, James, that we could do inside of our homes and workplaces because it is so hot outside. It's so hot. Yes, yes. So you still got to get that sweat, but in a healthy space. So why That's don't you right. do it in the cool air conditioning? Because after these workouts, you're going to feel like most likely that you're outside. You're going to feel <laughs> like you're melting, and that is exactly what needs to happen. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> so um, for those who are just newcomers, they're just joining us, tell us more about what HIT trainings are. So HIT, HIT training is high intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. and the point of high intensity interval training is to train your body to perform in a multitude of different workouts. Uh, high intensity training has been shown to increase what's called your anaerobic activity, which is your body's ability to create energy while you're uh, with a limited supply of oxygen. It also helps with your aerobic activity. So biking, steady state cardio, things like that, walking. Yeah. So it has multiple benefits. HIIT training is a great way to add to your workouts. It's also what's called a supplementary uh, workout, which means that it helps uh, it helps with workouts that you're currently doing. It helps to create a better, better you for your workout. Yeah, and what are the benefits? Oh my gosh, endless benefits. So yeah. number one, you're going to, your your better performance, your performance heightens for the regular workout. So if you're mm -hmm. a walker, it makes you a better walker. If you're uh, into strength training, it makes you stronger. Mm. So it literally helps to increase your efficacy in your current workouts. And if you've never worked out before, this is a great way to introduce yourself. Alrighty, and if you've never worked out before, we actually uh, are going to tease to our next segment next week. We're going to talk about a little training that you're putting together for yes. beginners. So yes. we We'll yes. make sure to touch base on that before the end of the segment, yes. but hopefully that gave you enough time to get prepared and there we go, <laughs> get ready to work out with James. James, you know what? Today is one of those days where I feel like you can teach the viewers going to full class mode. Full instructor mode. Yes, and oh. you're going to get us moving and grooving, That's so right. I'm going to let you take it away. Thank you so much. Yeah. So you guys heard me talk about high intensity interval training and today we're going to put our focus on what's called Tabata. Now you may or may not have ever heard of Tabata, but it is a form of high intensity it's interval training. And again, it's a supplementary program workout. So it makes everything better. If you're a runner, it makes you a better runner. If you're a, a beginner lifter, it makes you a better lifter, it makes you stronger. Studies show that Tabata does also increase uh, your strength. And while it doesn't necessarily increase weight loss, it does improve your ability to effectively lose weight. So without further ado, I have a handy dandy chair with me. If you're a beginner, I invite you to use a chair. And if you're not, and you just wanna learn the moves because you're sitting on your couch and you don't wanna get up, that's fine too. I'm gonna have you guys sit down. And what we're gonna do is start with three moves. I'm gonna give you three moves to do, take with you. And these moves are gonna go in 10 second intervals. And so these 10 second intervals, we're gonna take a five second break. Now, whereas high intensity interval training would require high and low intensity movements, Tabata's low intensity movement is actually no movement. So we're gonna have a quick break in between. I know that sounds good to you. First move we're gonna start off with is going to be alternating jumping jacks. And we're gonna be doing these low power jacks for 10 seconds. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, one. Next move we're gonna go into is our jump shots. Now I'm gonna turn the chair from a, to a side view so that you can properly see my form. My legs are shoulder width apart. We're gonna be as far wide as the legs of the chair so that you know where you're sitting and you wanna be close to your chair so that you know where you're gonna be having a seat. So we're gonna stand up, we're gonna jump shot and you can even add a heel, heel, uh, heel lift to that. Let's go 10 seconds on that, jump, and we're going to have a seat, okay? We're only going to get about four or five reps of this in a 10 second interval, so don't feel obligated to try to do more and more. Let's go for three, two, and one. Nice job. We've got a quick five second break, and we're going to transition to our last move, which is going to be an alternating front kick with a heel tap. 10 seconds here. We've got nine, eight, look alive. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we have a five second break before we go right back into those three moves. We're gonna start with the alternating taps. We have our low jacks, low jacks, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to cue my music for me and one nice job. Let's move on into our jump shots. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back down to the ground. We're gonna go into an alternating heel tap. Nine, eight, you should be breathing by now, feeling your heart rate rise. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, you wanna keep that circuit going for 10 minutes and that's gonna be your workout. So whether you're trying to wake up in the morning and you need something quick to get you started and you can't necessarily go to the gym for whatever reason, you've got a workout right here. Appreciate it. That was really good. You know, I um, will join you next week. Yes, you will. As, as, as you know. Yes. And James, guys, he's been helping me restart my fitness yes. journey, like for real, for real. So I'm an official gym girly, but today uh -huh. I am sore. But you also <laughs> talk about the importance of letting your body rest. Like you have to, if you're trying to do like strength and, and growing your muscles, you have to have that pause time. That's so important when Absolutely. working out, right? Absolutely, rest is just as important, if not more important. Your body's gotta recuperate. Your body's mm -hmm. gotta regenerate. So yeah. yes, take your time so that you can be more effective in your workout. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely join you next week. And speaking about next week, you know, we, we do these segments on a weekly basis and we're always encouraging people to go and work out. Absolutely. But maybe you've been watching us and you feel as if you have not had the motivation to start. Yeah. So next week's segment will be for you. We're going to be doing workouts for beginners. When I say beginners, I mean, you have never stepped foot into the gym. You don't know what to do. You look at the equipment like it's a foreign option because what is that for? So we're gonna get you confident in your body and in your workouts. And that's gonna be a really fun time. I'm excited. Yes, yes, James, appreciate you for coming as Thank always, you. friends. We're gonna take a quick break. Much more Soda City Live after this.